I'm not quite sure how many people are probably going to watch this video, but here it goes. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Owen and welcome to Blurb Osh. This is update 20. I made a video yesterday, well I recorded this exact video yesterday and whilst I was making that video it something occurred to me that I um, couldn't help thinking about afterwards really as my audience I want you guys to hear it and um, there's something I need to get off my chest really you know it's something I was thinking about and I'll cut to the chase I'm debating whether to continue doing what I'm doing I said to you guys in the video I recorded yesterday, which you haven't seen because I don't think I'm actually going to publish that cut that I made, that I was feeling okay and that, um, you know, I'm feeling alright, recovering from an illness, or a few illnesses in fact, where I had summer cramps, I wasn't feeling very well, I was feeling intense pain in my abdomen and then I pulled me back more so related to work than anything else and um, and as you probably guys can hear now I'm probably getting on with a cold as well which is another thing you know so it's one thing after the other but what I was thinking about is a couple of days ago I attended a funeral of one of my friends I was in school with not mentioning any names because that's not fair but it sort of played on my mind a little bit that, you know, well, the facts are life is too short, of course, and you need to make the most of what time us as beings have. And I can't help feeling that when I was ill, this individual I'm talking about was hours away from moving on. I need to explain, I'm a, a thoughtful person, I would say. I think a lot on the spot and I think about things I really shouldn't, you know. And I've been like that ever since I was at school, you know. I wasn't the most popular person in school. Arguably today I'm not either. I've fallen out with a lot of people and I've said a lot of things that may have upset a lot of people in the past. And um, I don't think about what I'm saying, really, but I'm a thinker, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. You know, and a lot of things worry me, a lot of things concern me, and I'm always thinking on the spot of what my next move is going to be, you know. And sometimes I do end up containing all these thoughts and feelings to the point where it gets a bit too much and I vent it out on frustration and stuff like that, and um, I, I break down over it, you know. Um, which, as a fella, as a guy, you know, as much as it's published all over social media that guys like us should um, man up, that sort of thing, you know. I know there's a lot of things on social media saying it's okay to, to vent, it's okay to cry, it's okay to, you know, have feelings, you know. And it is, of course it is. It's a humane right as much as anything, really. After my friend's funeral that I went to, it made me think close to home. My family little boy my relationship with my partner you know the, the things we want to achieve the ambitions that we have and the time we have and yeah I'm relatively of the, well I'm relatively I am a new father still you know uh, even though it has been over a year you know I'm still working things out and what have you and I come home and she goes to work and repeat the next day and repeat the day after that and then whatever time I have off I make videos you know if I can uh, depending on weather sometimes I think about I think a lot about the financial stuff as well where can I afford this can I afford that bills are going up here and there insurance is going up rents going up a lot of things is going up I mentioned in that video we've just got a new sofa and what have you you know and that's because we broke the other one um you know and it's a nice thing to have and it makes a home a home you know and the house that we're in it's not entirely perfect but we make and do with what we've got and i think oh, me and my partner have done really well considering what we've we've been through um you know and i and i think back as well you know in terms of health wise you know i was ill 
when my friend was I was from going away and I just think you know I've had alopecia we've gone through Covid you know life shit I'm not struggling I'm not trying to sort of say that I'm struggling financially wise that's not the case it's just you know a lot of things got to me with uh, with recent events and illnesses as well that the video I made yesterday when I replayed it back it wasn't honest this is supposed to be an update for the channel on how the channel is doing and how it's going you know and we we're on 777 subscribers and this is the main topic that I'm getting to and I'm not being underappreciative of those subscribers I'm very appreciative of the people that subscribed to this channel over the mere five years that I've been doing it. I made the decision for my family to get rid of a car. I pretty much saved my mental well-being, you know, um, through COVID and a breakup and other personal problems, you know. And although I hated the bloody thing sometimes and it really wound me up, I had an emotional attachment to it. And I've lost a lot of friends of late through life things, really. Um, not just in terms of their fate, but, you know, life gets in the way, you know what I mean. And um, most of the memories I have are to do with that car. And there's one particular person who may still watch these videos who has this Z car and um, I hope he, he I hope he loves it as much as I did and I'm thinking I've got a car now which needs a lot of work doing to it and I am more than willing to overlook what my head is telling me and doing it fixing it so that one day hopefully if it comes I can drive it and enjoy it with not just me but the little one as well when he's a little bit older but there's a lot of things i'm taking into consideration you know the new laws against diesels and stuff like that the tax on the vectra which is the car i'm talking about is already 36 pound a month to run um which is because it's an older diesel which i i get but by the time i get that car back on the road i'm gonna be quite a few quids into it you know and I'm thinking obviously I could put that money to better use but my hobbies is with cars I like cars I like doing things and I would I'd like to save the Vectra that's my ambition I just don't have the funding to do it and when I say I don't have the funding to do it I don't have the tools I don't own a grinder I don't own a welder you know um, there's miscellaneous tools you know I've got an old knackered jack I bought from Halfords six seven years ago which has been used on every other car under the bloody sun i'm fortunate to have a unit because if i didn't have the unit the car would be long gone but i just as a car guy as a car lover and somebody who has the ambition to do it i'm starting to think whether it's a good decision carrying on you know and this could be just a phase where i'm having one of those down moments where i'm thinking what's the point the world's against me type scenario but i genuinely feel that this is an honest video i'm trying to make to you guys about it when i look at the view count there are quite a few people involved in it the first sorry the second rust video i made on the vector surprised me you know there was many people liking it and a few people disliking it and it just made me think you know i spent a good six seven grand on the Corsa in the space of three years and it could have been worse i could have spent a lot more on it if i hadn't have said no but with this vector although it on face value parts wise it doesn't need a lot i need the tools to do it you know i've got to take a lot of things into consideration with all the bills going up as well and then if I left the car for a while to do it, is it going to get worse? And then it's just not going to be worth doing anyways. But not only that, if I wait to get the funding to do what I need to do to the car, that means no content for you guys. And what's concerning me is the people who might already be interested in the car in terms of what I'm doing, where they might forget what I'm doing and then not watch a video and then 
renders my investment pointless if it goes wrong. Because my ultimate goal is to get the car back on the road, but I can't guarantee that that's going to happen. And then even if I do get it on the road, several years down the line when diesels are no longer available to buy, and the next law comes in saying you can't run an older diesel from a certain year or what have you, or because I live closer to, to Wrexham and Wales, you know, um, is there going to be ULEZ zones? And then I won't be able to use the car anyways and it'd have to be scrapped. So I feel like at the moment the world is against me and there's a lot of things that are on my mind that I'm thinking about. And as I've just explained, I'm a thinker and I have a lot of emotions going on in the back of my mind. I am contemplating calling it a day. I've made several channels ever since I was 14. My first channel making gaming videos, which is attached to the links in this channel. My second one was when everybody seemed to love Five Nights at Freddy's at the time, so I used to make animations uh, via SFM, and it did well, and then the topic sort of just got boring and I stopped, you know. And then after college, or during college should I add, I was doing media studies and all that sort, and I thought, I'll make a new channel. I'll start afresh and I'll make it like a vlog channel or a video editing channel or something of sorts, you know, and that sort of wound up into the car thing because that's what I'm interested in. And over the last five years, the growth has been very slow. And I just get the impression that, you know, I'm not only wasting money on things that I really shouldn't or can't afford, am I better off spending the time also with my family as I am editing, making videos and all of that sort. As an update to you guys, you can probably clearly see that I'm thinking. I sat here yesterday on the same couch, all upbeat, saying everything's okay, I'm getting better, I've got a new editor, because my other one wasn't working, and I spent money on a new editor that's made it better, a lot better. Um, I'm still getting used to it. But I look at other people's videos and think their cameras are well, better than what I've got. I'm using my phone. I can't afford to fix my wireless go. I can't afford to fix the car for the content, because of priorities, obviously, as a father and trying to make ends meet. And a lot of people will say I should be fortunate for what I've got, and I, of course, am. I am fortunate for what I've got, you know, and as much as I sound a bit down and thought, in thought at the minute, you know, I do appreciate the things I've got. I don't want to sound like I'm being selfish, you know. That's not my intention of this video. I'm not being selfish in any way, shape, or form. But I just feel like, like I say, I appreciate every subscriber I've got for this channel. It isn't taking off, and whether that's down to my character, or the way my videos come out, or just the content isn't interesting to what a lot of people are wanting, you know, um, then that might be it. And videoing and editing is a hobby of mine, and yeah, many of you are going to say we'll continue with it, but as much as I love doing it, I don't like making videos that are pointless. And when I haven't got the funding to do the things that I want to do, it's only going to end one way, really, and that's by not making any content. And by not making any content, eventually you'll lose the subscribers, and then eventually you'll lose your audience. And right now, I don't even know how to conclude this video, in a sense, because I don't know what I need to or want to do with this channel at the minute. I was saying in my last video, or the video I made the other day, Day, which um, I'm not publishing that there should be a few differences with the channel in terms of the layout the banner and all that sort there's a lot of things going on in my mind at the minute um, I don't know whether I should continue or whether I should just take a break but then if I take a break and save up at the same time one the car might not even be there then it might be it might have rotted away and I want to get that car fixed because I like the car at this present moment in time, I'm not sure if it's going to go back on the road, but I've got to put my priorities first, you know. Sorry if it sounds a bit depressing, this video, guys. I really do apologise. I'm sure you guys were probably upbeat too before this video. Um, but if you have stuck around, I really appreciate it, and I'm, I'm thankful 
that I have viewers like yourselves who are stuck around at this point to listen to me talk about my thoughts which is not really the topic on this channel to be honest it's um, you know I like to be a bit more upbeat about it I want your guys thoughts am I better off just taking a break and saving as much money as possible to try and fix this car do you guys even like the content I'm making or do you just watch it because it's the last thing that comes up on your timeline uh, recommended even you know I've had snarky comments before that oh, I watched your video and fell asleep halfway through or I was watching your video whilst I was trying to get to sleep and eventually I fell asleep I'm glad I can do one job right and that's be boring there will be a video coming out in the next couple of days from this video which is basically a pre-recording I did before this of what the Vectra needs to pass an MOT. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Guys, if you like the content that I make and you want to see more and you haven't yet subscribed, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it because, but when I see, I mean, here's an example. If I see 777 subscribers to the channel and then I see a couple of videos reaching maximum 50 views I'm thinking nobody's interested and even my latest video of the Vectra at the minute from today it's on 124 views and then I've also got to think as well that there are 3,000 plus people who've watched the Rust video on the Vectra and that's me not being I'm not being selfish just wondering if any of this is worth worth it basically I think that's what I'm trying to get at is I see the count I see the view count I'm spending this money on a car I really don't have money on and I'm thinking is any of this worth it is it a waste of time am I just doing it because I like editing and making videos which is a hobby that's where I'm getting to please don't see it as any sort of begging scenario if you don't want to subscribe that's fine but comment at least you know on what you'd like to see if you like the channel you like the content if you uh, think I'm mad and I should keep going let me know be honest with me should I give up and focus on family which I'm not saying I don't focus on family but should I focus not spending money on this car let me know it's gonna be a tough one I'm sorry if I bored you but anyways guys thanks for watching this video if you're still here and I'll see you guys in the next one take care and stay safe